Okay, this is DRAN expert data as viewed in our DRAN view. This happens to be DRAN view enterprise. And I can pull up and I can change my screen and I can show you how it looks in DRAN view XP. So let me just change this. And uh, you can see it's basically the exact same user interface as before. The only difference in what you would see in DranView XP and what you would see in DranView Pro or Enterprise is not the data itself, it's the ability to do other stuff. So again, DranView XP is limited to only Dran expert data. So you cannot load data from any other data source. Not You can't load um, HTTPQ, PX5, or any other data source like you can in DranView Pro or Enterprise. So also the limitations within uh, DranView XP is that uh, you don't get any of the power quality in the advanced report writing. Uh, you get some limited report writing, but the time plot calculator doesn't exist. So it is a slimmed down version, but DranView XP is free of charge. Uh, there is a, a link on our website or a page on our website. You get a little notice when you purchase Tran Expert on how to download this free software. So no hassles, no security involved uh, with DranView XP. So I'm going to change to DranView Enterprise and only because I have um, um, uh, the uh, data files loaded here. And I've got two data files just to show you as an example. And you can see this is from our service entrance here. And this is the the demand trends. That's actually showing you current, but um, this will also represent the uh, the utilization of our particular facility. And I can change this to anything that I like. So the same controls that you're familiar with in DranView. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with them, go to our, our website, the webcast page. We have some training videos on how to operate DranView to show you how to change your views here. But you can see surveys here. This is kind of a half a week. So one, two, three, four, five, about five and a half weeks worth of data from our service entrance. And you can see here's a weekend, here's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we have the weekend again. Not much happens here on a weekend. Occasionally, some folks will come in. So you'll see a demand trend that looks similar to this, and you can trend voltage, current, and anything like that that you want. Um, you could also look at different events on the right. This has the wrong uh, uh, data type selected here. But anyway, we'll, we'll show that at another time. Now, if I change my tab over here, you can see here is sensor data inputs. All right. Now, this is a very short test here. And this was done with that test system that I have um, uh, set up in my office, that cellular test. And you can see this is the voltage recorded over time. It's a very short survey. And this is the sensor input, the transducer input recorded over a very short period of time. So this is roughly, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes worth of information. Now, the point that I wanted to make here, this is a sensor input event that's over here recorded on the right. So you can see here's our event list and this shows up just like most of our other products in DranView. And you can see I've triggered various sensor inputs. And this is just simply by adjusting that knob that you saw on that demonstration system that I have. In this case, I turned it up. I think the high limit was, um, was it six and a half volts? So um, you can see it triggered at this point. And here's the post trigger as I brought that knob up and I brought that knob back down again. And that's quickly rotating it and then bringing it back down within limits. And this would be the same if this was a temperature uh, input as your as the temperature transducer went up, went down, and you have particular high and low limits. So maybe think of a data center or facility that, you know, I, I know something's wrong. I know my chillers aren't working when it reaches a certain high temperature. That may be a good thing to alarm on within TranExpert uh, or any other type of sensor or application that you may have. So here's an example of a waveform snapshot. And you can see it shows up as a waveform event. So you can see the usual event markers in DranView at this point in time, I had a waveform snapshot. And I mentioned before, you could see exactly what's going on. You can visually see it. So if there's any distortion, you would visually see it. Of course, it would show up in THD and other harmonic parameters. But you can also run this through on the full DranView, the harmonic and time plot calculator to do additional information on it. And so you can see additional RMS events here. So I basically took something within limits, I'm sorry, the transducer input events. And then I basically triggered as it went down, I think it may have been three and a half volts was my trigger point that I had set up and you can see pre and then post trigger on that. So again, you can, you can not only journal the transducer inputs over time, which you see here as I change the knob on that and you know envision temperature like I showed you in the PowerPoint um, or and or you can trigger on higher low limits 
Um, and those triggers are set up in the units of those particular transducers.